According to their website, Raptor is a flowchart-based programming environment designed specifically to help students visualize their algorithms and avoid syntactic baggage. So our first tutorial um, is to create a program that will allow a user to input two numbers and add them together and then store those numbers in a variable called total that will print the answer. So here is Raptor and you can see we have a start and end this is our program so we're gonna take one of the symbols here the assignment symbol and drag it in here and we're gonna double click so we can go in and edit it um, so we need to um, declare our variable okay a variable the way I think of it it's a bucket that holds one piece of information and it can change value when um, a specific condition is met or based on user input and we're gonna focus on user input so we're going to set this variable and name it total. Okay? And we want to set it to 0 because we want the number to start at 0. Okay. So now what we need to do is add an input box. So we need input from a user, so we're going to drag that in there. We're going to click this down arrow because we want to add 2. You can right click and edit and we're going to enter a prompt. So we're going to use quotation since it's not an expression. Okay, so this is text that we want a user to read. So we're going to put a quote, enter a number, end quote. The value here, this variable is going to be, we're going to call it num1 and hit done. Let's go ahead and create another one here. Quote, enter another number, end quote. We're going to name this variable, or declare this variable number 2, done. So when a user enters the first number, it'll be stored in the variable num1, and when they enter the second number, it'll be, it'll be stored in the variable num2. Okay, just so you know, you can right-click on any of these and add comments. And a comment is good for other people who work with your code that can get more details on something that you're trying to do. Um, a comment does not um, get executed in the program. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create the process. So we're going to add another assignment box. So we're going to drag this down here and we're going to change the parameters here. We're going to set total. Remember that variable we created at the beginning and we want to do num1 plus num2. So this is our process. We're going to add those two variables together. And now we need to create some kind of an output. Drag that down here. And we want the reader to read this. So quote, the sum of the two numbers is. We're going to use the concatenation symbol, which is a plus, which basically links together total. Okay, hit done. So here is our program and let's go ahead and click on this little button here which will execute to completion. We'll see it as it goes. So here's where we prompt the user to enter a number. We're going to type in 50. Then it's prompting us for another one. Let's type in 75. Hit OK. And so now we've got the sum of the two numbers is 125. So if you look over here, you can see our first variable, num1, stored the user input 50. The second variable, number 2, stored the user input as 75. And then our process was to add those together. So that's the first tutorial.